Hello everyone, Mauna Narvani here. So today we will be discussing on the example of addition theorem for probability. So the question here is, an integer is selected at random from 3 through 17 inclusive. If A is the event that a number divisible by 3 is chosen and B is the event that the chosen number exceeds 10. Determine probability of A, probability of B, probability of A intersection B and probability of A union B. Let's look at the answer. First, before solving, uh, identify all the given information from the question. So here, the number of integers from 3 to 17 inclusive is 15. So that is, totally there are 15 numbers from 3 to 17. That is, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so on, up to 17. If you count all these numbers, so that uh, count is 15. So there are totally there are 15 numbers from 3 to 17. Next, among these 15 integers, the integers divisible by 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12 and 15. And the count of these numbers is 5. Next, the integers exceeding 10, the numbers which are greater than 10 are 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17. And the count of these numbers is 7. And the integers which are divisible by 3 and also which exceed 10 are 12 and 15. So these are the numbers which are also divisible by 3 and are greater than 10. So the count of these numbers is 2. Once we have noted down all the given information from the question. Now the event A is the, A is the event that a number is divisible by 3. Therefore the count of A that is the possible outcomes of event A is 5. There are 5 numbers which are divisible by 3. Next, event B is that the chosen number exceeds 10. So, the chosen number exceeds 10 is equal to 7. So, these are the 7 numbers which are greater than 10. Next, next we need to find A intersection B. So, A is nothing but the event where the integer is divisible by 3. B is nothing but an event where the integer exceeds 10. Therefore, A intersection B is nothing but the integer which is divisible by 3 and integer that exceeds 10. So, there are only two numbers 12 and 15 which satisfies both the condition. So, therefore, A intersection B is equal to 12. Next, we need to find the sample space S. So, it is nothing but the set of all integers that we are considered, 3 to 7. Therefore, sample space S is equal to 15. Once we have noted down all these things, next we can easily find the probability of A. So, we know that probability of A is nothing but the all possible outcomes of event A divided by the total sample space S. A by S. So, the answer uh, event A uh, possible outcomes of event A is 5 divided by sample space 15. So that results into 1 by 3. Next to find probability of B it is nothing but all possible outcomes of event B divided by the sample space S which is nothing but 7 by 15. Next to find probability of A intersection B it is nothing but all possible outcomes of A intersection B divided by the sample space S. So that is equivalent to 2 by 15. In probability of A union B. So this we have seen in resource creation assignment 2. How to find what is the formula for A probability of A union B. And also we have seen one simple example of that. So similarly use the same formula probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. We know that probability of A resulted into 1, 1 by 3. So use the same result probability of B. 7 by 15 so use for probability of B use 7 by 15 minus for probability of A intersection B it is 2 by 15. When you substitute all these values and evaluate you get 2 by 3 as the answer. So these are the answers for the given question. So in this assign in this activity initially the student will be asked with this question asked to analyze uh, from the given question analyze the possible outcomes what is the sample space find the results and then come up with the final result. Thank you.